thank you for your good hand that is already working wonders in my life. I thank you for opening new doors. Thank you for barriers that are already crashing. We give you praise. We give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, mighty God, for the wonders that you are releasing into my life, into my destiny. Thank you for breakthroughs, for open doors, for change of level, for amazing laughters. Lord, we are grateful. You are not a liar. You are faithful to your word. New dawn will become my new name. I give you praise, O oh Lord. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Today, you will see the goodness of God. Whatever you have been struggling with will be swallowed up today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Any form of spiritual limitation that have been keeping you on the same spot, today they will give up on you. Make that amen louder. And today mark the end of every manipulation of the wicked in your life. Say a good amen. amen. It is my new dawn era. Because what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, that shall be the order of testimony in my life. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. And please take your seat. God bless you. Is something happening in someone's life? What God has appointed for you, you will take delivery of them. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I discovered something. You are either praying or you are playing. But at the end of the fast, we will know who prayed and who played. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Very briefly before we rise up to pray, there is a price to pay. Tell your neighbor there is a price to pay. New dawn goes with a price. It's not song. It goes with what? A price. Everyone must consciously pay his own price. First Corinthians chapter 9, we read that scripture. And verse 24, 1 Corinthians 9 and verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all. Everybody that is here now is running. But one receiveth the prize. So run that he may obtain. So do what? Commentators don't get award. Spectators don't carry prize. Referee only blow whistle. We are never carry cup. True of us. If after this fasting, new dawn does not show in your life. You only succeeded in disappointing your destiny. That's why every seriousness that is needed for new dawn to happen to you, you must give it all it takes. As potent as scriptures are, no scripture, no prophecy fulfills itself. Even when Jesus told them that um, I will send to you the gift of my father, it got to a point they say, men and brethren, this scripture must need be fulfilled. And after they told themselves that men, they needed to sit down, adjusted what they needed to adjust, and they began to pray. This scripture must need be fulfilled. A glorious life does not just suddenly happen. Your life does not just become glorious by chance, neither will my life. Likewise, a successful life is not a sudden event. 
A glorious life does not just suddenly happen. A successful life is not a, an accident. It is something you must consciously work out. You work it out. Bishop Abiyo said, if you do nothing, you get nothing. <laughs> so the only way to get nothing is just to do nothing. But if you must get something, do something. Make sure you do the right thing. Because the law of seed time and harvest is already working. Whatever you are imputing into this year is what you will harvest out of this year. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, we have started though. That shall he reap also. If you sow to the flesh, you shall of the flesh reap corruption. But if you sow to the spirit, you shall of the spirit reap what? Life everlasting. A wise man said, you are either getting better or you are growing worse. You are either getting better or you are growing worse. You are either increasing in carnality or you are increasing in spirituality. Do you know you can be fasting and still be carnal? You can be in fasting and be misbehaving. It's a sign that carnality has taken a full grip over your life to the point that the spirit cannot help you. If new dawn must work for anyone, even though God has said it, man, everybody must pay his price. Yes, it's my new dawn era. The heavens will cooperate with you. The earth will cooperate with you. But you must store the line that will guarantee the manifestation. Everyone is running. But one is going to obtain. May you be the one that will obtain. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. Our flesh is too weak to make destiny a reality. That is why the main essence of this fasting is to help you subdue the flesh so that the spirit man can deliver the benefits, the blessings appointed. Let's take a look at um, Romans chapter 5. We are going to read it from verse 5 now so that we can get it clearly. Romans chapter 8 and verse 5. Sorry, 8 and verse 5. 8 and verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the things of the spirit, the things of the spirit. The next verse. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and what? Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Verse 8. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Verse 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. The next verse. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Now look at the next verse. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. Now look at verse 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. The next verse again. For if ye live after the flesh... Ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the flesh, ye shall live. What fasting helps you to do is to quench the flesh. 
the flesh has an unusual tendencies an urging a strong affinity to reduce spirituality and that's why fasting is ordained to help you enthrone the spirit now let's catch it clearly from galatians chapter 5 from verse 16 galatians 5 and verse 16 this i say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh the next verse for the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would the next verse now but if ye be led of the spirit ye are not under the law verse 19 now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery fornication uncleanness lasciviousness idolatry witchcraft heresy variance emulation wrath strife sedition go back now now your hand is doing po 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 and heresy verse 21 envy murders drunkenness you know some people still drink and come to church they say take a little wine for your stomach may god give you the sickness of that man that took a little wine revealing and such like of the which i tell you before as i have also told you in time past they that 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 they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of god there is a blessing appointed but these are the things that the enemy has programmed to stop you the price you are going to pay is to submit submit to the holy ghost fasting and prayer is seeking assistance from god every time we are in fasting we are seeking help seeking assistance seeking enablement from the holy spirit so that the plan of god can be fulfilled regularly the flesh is fighting the flesh is fighting they can even tell you shabi you have been praying where is the answer now let me tell you this benihin had one challenge if you have read that book the anointing He was to go for a meeting and all of a sudden his relatives they came so he started gisting 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 you know there are some things you do not to not to offend some people am i correct so the holy ghost began to nudge him that uh, it's time to go and pray it's time to go and pray he was not saying if I leave now, how will they feel? How will they feel? How will they feel? So he stayed on. He stayed on just to please his brothers. Guess what? When he went for the meeting, the meeting was dry. There was no power flow. So he was struggling to do everything. He struggled to prophesy. He struggled to minister. By the time he finished ministering, he didn't even look at anybody. He just zoomed off and entered the car and went back to the room. I started asking the Holy Ghost what happened. The Holy Ghost now told him, you choose to stay in the presence of your brothers, so I left you alone. He said, if you want me, there is a price to pay. Let me tell you this. If you start this fasting or January carelessly, you will struggle all through the year. Now, who has watched a relay race? four by 100 meters or four by 400 now the person that starts the race that is batting one must be somebody that has stamina and has energy because if he struggles no matter how strong number four is he will struggle now hear me batting one batting two batting three is in your hand likewise batting four if you struggle 
and play carelessly with this fasting, I want to let you know there is nothing you can do about the rest of the year. That's why you must pay your price now so that your life this year will be glorious. It will be dangerous for you to be negotiating this fasting. Permit me to say this. What have you pictured in this new dawn? If new dawn must be a reality, then there is something you must be seeing. And whatever you are seeing, there is a price attached to it. How glorious do you want your life to be? How much more your family? How do you want to see things turn in your career? To be carnally minded. Do you know to be carnally minded is not only the loss of the flesh. You can carry some concerns that can drive you away from God's presence. Concern. Issues. There are issues and there are issues. Problem may they finish. Am I correct? If you finish solving one now, another one will jack up tomorrow. So if you keep carrying concern, I want to let you know you cannot pray well. Neither will you study God's word. Paul said, when I want to do good, the good I want to do, I do not. He said, the evil I don't want to do, he said, I find myself doing to make this fasting productive, hear me? You need to make up your mind to pay the price that we make February sweet, March awesome, April glorious, May marvelous. This will just be working. Just like the psalmist said, the lights are falling for me in pleasant places. So fasting helps to empower your spirits. To assume a new order of spiritual authority. Because every time authority is enhanced, blessing also they are enhanced. You can't enhance spiritual authority by doing your fasting casually. And you are praying and you are watching the clock like goalkeeper. One thing I want to let you know is this. Focus. Tell your neighbor, focus. Anything you are desiring, you need utmost focus. And hear this. If you don't have focus now, someone will give you focus. And whatever catches your attention now gives you direction. If you don't have focus now on what you are to pray about, somebody else can give you prayer points. Can I give you one prayer point? Which price are you willing to pay for your life to be sweeter? You have tested enough bitterness. You have seen enough hardship. But I want to guarantee you, just like scripture said, they looked unto him and they were lighted and their faces were no more ashamed. They looked unto him. They had to pay a price to look unto him so that at the end, they will come out of shame. They were in shame before, but they made up their mind to look unto him. In fasting, we are looking up to God. In fasting, we kill alternatives. Why? We are seeking something more glorious. Every time you give your heart to a particular cause, something new is added. What God intends to do for us in this fasting is to upgrade our favor level. Is to upgrade us in blessing. Is to upgrade us in supply. Is to increase us in progress. Is to increase us in manifestation. Is to change our level physically, spiritually, financially, family wise. May you not be on the same spot. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. So, how serious you take your prayer? We determine how God will respond to you. And you know, amazingly, God has what we call hatometer. Say with me, hatometer. I, the Lord, search the heart. And I examine the ray. Everybody is fasting, you know, but God is seeing who is truly fasting. I, the Lord, search the heart. And I examine the ray to reward every man according to his deeds. 
according to his impute. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro to see those whose hearts are perfect towards him. So every time we are before God in an ordained fast, it is an opportunity for you to escape shame and enter glory. My prayer for you is that shame will live your life. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. When you cooperate with the Holy Ghost in a fast like this, one unique thing I know he will do is to release fire. Say with me, fire. fire. To burn every chaff. Chaff. There are things within that makes grace to suffer. Anything that is in you that is not enabling the grace of God to manifest in your life, we only enable you to struggle more. So when we enter prayer, the Holy Ghost releases the fire of God. No wonder, John said, his fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purge our floor and burn with unquenchable words, fire. So while we are going through this period, it's a sweeping process. He says, his fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purge our floor, burn every chaff, anything that we hinder new dawn for becoming a reality. That is what the Holy Ghost is after. And Jesus said, whatsoever my heavenly father has not planted, shall be uprooted. I pray for you today. Whatever will limit you from seeing new dawn, may they be burnt up by the fire of God. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. But you have to cooperate with him. He doesn't force anybody. You have to cooperate with him. You have to make up your mind that this new dawn, I will not just say, it is mine. It is mine. People will see it as a testimony in your life. And they will begin to desire the kind of new dawn you have encountered. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. There is a price to pay. Let me summarize with this before we rise up. How many of us heard of us in both? Good. Now, in all his years of training, Let me put it this way. 16 years. Hmm? He has been going for one Olympics to the other. But the money he got last year was like a compensation for all the training and all the price that he has been paying. Are you following me? Maybe in the previous race, maybe 100,000 or 150 or 200. But the one of last year is like a it's like a cap. All the training he trained in less than two minutes, $112 million. Somebody saying Jesus. Multiply it in Naira. That will let you know paying price. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Paying price, anyone that is paying a price now has seen something and is going somewhere. I don't know where you are going, but if it's the journey of new dawn, there is a price to pay. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. You know, if I was shouting, die by fire, the amen would have been bigger. Am I saying something to somebody? If I say, that which troubling you will die tomorrow, the amen would have been bigger. But hear me, this one has to deal with your habits. It has to deal with your character. It has to deal with your attitude. It's, you are not looking outside now, you are looking inside. You want to see new dawn? Man, there are things you must tear down. There are habits you must let go if God must show up. You don't take care of the external when you have not taken care of the internal. What affects you more is inside than outside. If new dawn must be in your hand, tell yourself the truth. The greatest sincerity is you being sincere to yourself. You know, you can fake for everybody. Bless you have so confused people to the point that we don't know who is right and who is wrong. It's time to be sincere to yourself. 
are you really making headway? Like I said before, you are either getting better or growing worse. But this year must not bring you down. It must take you up. The part of the just, scripture say, is as a shining light. That shine brighter. Whatever has been keeping you in the same form must let you go this year. Please say a good amen. amen. Rise up to your feet. We are going to pray now. Everything, anything flesh, carnality, that is an enemy to your spirituality. To the point that you can't even pray. You can't even study. You are open to all manner of carnality. It's an enemy to God's plan and purpose for your life. Rise up to your feet. Everybody rise up. It's only if you are nine months pregnant like that. That sister that is close to deliver. You can see to see that. You see that and be praying your own in Jesus' name. Come on, stand up. Not begin like you. In Jesus' name. Stood up, who prayer one. Please, I want you to pray. Holy Spirit, let your fire burn every chaff, a manifestation of the flesh, and empower me to see my new dawn. Are you ready to see your new dawn? Lift up your voice and begin to pray now. Holy Spirit, let your fire burn every chaff. Let your fire burn every chaff, a manifestation of the flesh. Burn every chaff. Let your fire burn every chaff, a manifestation of the flesh, and enable me to see my new dawn. Laro declari sheko se tolika, reso zekle prepladi satota. Let your fire burn every chaff, every chaff burn every chaff, a manifestation of the flesh, and enable me to see the reality of my new dawn. Let your fire burn every chaff. Jesus, you say whatsoever my heavenly father has not planted, let them be uprooted. Fire of God, sweep through my body, sweep through my soul, sweep through my spirit. Burn every chaff. Burn every chaff. Whatever God has not planted, any habits that will limit spirituality, let your fire burn every chaff. Burn every chaff. Fire of God, sweep through my body, sweep through my soul, sweep through my spirit. Let your fire burn every chaff. Let your fire burn of every chaff, a manifestation of the flesh. And empower me, enable me, empower me to see my new dawn. Empower me to see my new dawn. Fire of God, sweep through my life. Born every chaff. Lerenda la bush, ezuna ketorish, leketeria 